Hi students, in the previous video we have seen how to find the modulus of a complex number we have seen. Now we are going to see the properties of this modulus of a complex number. So under this we are going to see some properties. The first one is modulus of z is equal to modulus of z bar. So z bar is nothing but a conjugate. So modulus of a complex number and its conjugate both will be equal. Now let us consider one complex number z is equal to 3 plus 4i. Now modulus of z is so according to the modulus definition modulus means root of square of the real part plus square of the imaginary part. So 9 plus 16 25 so modulus of this complex number is 5. Now let us consider z bar is equal to 3 minus 4i. Now find modulus of z bar so again root of square of the real part plus square of the imaginary part that is minus 4 the whole square which is nothing but 16 again 16 plus 9 25 so again the same modulus we will get so modulus of z is equal to modulus of z bar that means modulus of a complex number and its conjugate both are equal now second property is always the real part of a complex number is less than or equal to modulus of that complex number. Let us consider one example. So the very same uh, complex number let us take 3 plus 4i. So here real part of z is 3 and modulus of z is here we have calculated the modulus is 5. So compare these two. So real part is less than modulus of z. So in this uh, for this complex number real part is less than modulus of z. Now in which case real z is equal to modulus z? Let us see. Now consider a purely real complex number z is equal to 3 which can be written as 3 plus 0i just purely real. Now real z is 3 real z is 3 and modulus of z is root of square of the real part is 9 and square of the imaginary part is 0. So root of 9 is 3. So in this case real z is equal to modulus of z. So if a complex number is purely real then real z is equal to modulus of z. In all other cases real z is less than modulus of z. So similarly we can prove the third property imaginary of z is less than or equal to modulus of z. And fourth property, modulus of z power n is equal to modulus of z the whole power n where n is an integer. This means so in the left hand side of, after raising the power n we are taking modulus and in the right hand side after taking modulus we are raising the power n. Now both will be equal. This is the fourth property. And fifth property is the modulus of the product is equal to product of their individual moduli. That is modulus of z1, z2 equal to modulus of z1 into modulus of z2. We can extend this result for n complex numbers. We can extend this result for any number. That is uh, modulus of the product is equal to product of their individual moduli. Likewise in division also the next property the modulus of the quotient is equal to quotient of their individual moduli. So these two is equal for multiplication and division but for in addition and subtraction something different. Let us see modulus of z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 that is modulus of the sum is always less than or equal to sum of their individual moduli. So this property is called triangle inequality of complex numbers. So the proof part is very important. It may ask in three mark questions. So let us see the proof of afterwards. So next property is for subtraction. Modulus of z1 minus z2 is greater than or equal to modulus of modulus of z1 minus modulus of z2. So these are the properties of modulus of a complex number. Now let us see the proof for triangle inequality. So you should learn this property along with proof. It's very important three mark problem. Uh, now let us see. 
So what we have seen the triangle inequality is modulus of z1 minus z2 is always less than or equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2. Yeah, we have to prove this. So for let us consider modulus of z1 plus z2 the whole square and final step we can take the square root. So consider modulus of z1 plus z2 the whole square. So already we have seen one result modulus of z square is equal to z z bar modulus of z square is equal to z z bar. So using this result this modulus of z square can be written as z z bar. So in the place of z here z1 plus z2 is here. So z1 plus z2 into z1 plus z2 the whole bar. So using this result modulus of z square is equal to z z bar. I have written this modulus of z1 plus z2 the whole square as z1 plus z2 into z2 z1 plus z2 the whole bar. Again z1 plus z2 and conjugate using the conjugate property we can separate like this z1 bar plus z2 bar and then find the product as usual z1 z1 bar plus z1 z2 bar plus these two z2 z1 bar and then z2 z2 bar okay Again, by using the very same property, z1 z1 bar can be written as modulus of z1 square, and this can be written as modulus of z2 square. Now, z1 z2 bar. Now, for our proof convenient, I am going to change this term as z1 z2 bar the whole bar. All is in z2 z1 bar can be written as z1 z2 bar the whole bar now if we apply separately z1 bar z2 double bar so it becomes z1 bar z2 so these two will be equal so instead of z2 z1 bar i am writing z1 z2 bar the whole bar okay now let us see modulus of z1 square and this becomes same modulus of z2 square now see these two numbers this is z1 z2 bar and this is z1 z2 bars conjugate listen again z1 z2 bar and this is z1 z2 bars conjugate so we know that while adding a complex number and its conjugate while adding a complex number and its conjugate we will get two times real part of the complex number so that is the result is z plus z bar is equal to 2 times real part of the complex number while adding a complex number and its conjugate the both the imaginary parts get cancelled and we will get 2 times the real part so using that result here I, I have written 2 times real part of z1 z2 bar and and in properties we have seen always real part is less than or equal to real part of a complex number is less than or equal to modulus of z we have seen this property real z is less than or equal to modulus of z so this real z is less than or equal to modulus of z1 z2 bar and these two terms being same z1 square and here z2 square these two being same and here real z is less than or equal to modulus of z so listen well up to this you have to put equal to symbol and from this step onwards you have to put this less than or equal to because real z is less than or equal to modulus of z now we can write next so it is less than or equal to modulus of z1 square plus 2 times we can split this as modulus of z1 into modulus of z2 bar modulus of z1 into modulus of z2 bar and the next term is modulus of z2 the whole square and modulus of z1 square plus 2 into modulus of z1 we know the property modulus of a complex number and its conjugate both are same so using the first property modulus of z is equal to modulus of z bar we can write this as modulus of z2 this modulus of z2 
the whole square. Now see the terms. It is in the form a square 2ab plus b square. So we can write this as modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 the whole square. So here in the place of a modulus of z1 is there and in the place of b modulus of z2 is there. So this can be written as modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 the whole square. Now finally take the positive square on both sides. So the left hand side is modulus of z1 plus z2 the whole square. Okay, now we are taking positive square root on both sides. So we will get modulus of z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 which is nothing but our triangle inequality. So modulus of z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2. That's all. Thank you students.